hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is jen Mamalo. so on today's video we are, are going to be doing my deposit on my emergency fund now 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 as you can see on the title of this video i think this is honestly it for this year and i'm going to give you some few reasons as why this is possibly it for this year in terms of this is how far i can go but for people that haven't watched this video right here i'm just going to give you a brief background but i would really really recommend that go check out that video my plan is to create a, a 12 month runway on my emergency fund meaning that i need to have my living expenses saved up which are, equiv are equivalent to 12 months when i started with my emergency fund i started with it two years ago i think two years ago and when i say two years ago 2022 but in november that's when i started saving towards my emergency fund and i wasn't as aggressive until this year and the reason why i started being so aggressive this year is because my income increased but also i i felt the need that i really need to push for other reasons that i'm not gonna get into i'm really trying my best to make sure that i build up my emergency fund to at least 12 months right now i'm trying to work towards six months because hundred thousand for me equates to six months worth of living expenses and when you say living expenses we're looking at necessities here ne? i want to then stretch it to 12 months because for me i feel like 12 months will be the safe zone the drive behind this is because because I want financial freedom but secondly I also want to change careers and for me to change careers I need to create a runway that will allow me to be able to be flexible and not have to constantly worry about money but more than anything financial freedom for me is very very important now if you remember on the money letter that I created it starts from financial instability or financial anxiety and then there's financial peace and then there's financial freedom I'm currently at financial peace in terms of I don't have to worry about my living expenses I don't have to worry how I'm going to meet my needs each and every month I have more than enough to be able to meet my monthly needs and also still be able to save and invest each and every month and so for me i consider that financial stability or financial peace because i am just i feel like i am sick like i'm good i feel good when i think about my finances i'm content when i look think about my finances but then beyond now this comfortability that is here of which many people end up here i want more than that i don't want to have to constantly have to work for money but i rather want my money to work for for me and for me to get there i need to start working towards financial freedom so that is what i'm trying to do with my emergency fund so last month remember that i had set a goal that i want to reach eighty thousand, and we did deposit ten thousand, and i was able to reach eighty thousand. and then with the interest we got up to it was around eighty two thousand that i was i had this sitting so now i then wanted to deposit money this month so that i can beef it up to ninety thousand. so we are going to do that deposit today we're going to first go to the app look at how much money we are sitting at and then we are going to deposit the money i had planned according to my monthly research that i want to deposit ten thousand into my emergency fund but truth be spoken is that i can't i can't spare ten thousand right now there's a lot going on my resources can't stretch that much in terms of reaching ten thousand this month so i had to compromise and say okay let me at least put eight thousand and the reason why i say eight thousand is because from my portfolio i was sitting around eight to eighty two thousand so i was like if i put eight thousand i'll still reach 90,000. So I'm going to change I'm going to be changing things up a little bit this month and that is because on the Frank app if you know I have my money invested but in low risk. And why do I mean low risk? A 75% is in is put towards Ellen Gray money market. Ne? Ellen Gray money market is sim similar to cash similar to your savings and then i have a small portion on the Cetrix top 40 and a very tiny portion on the s p 500 now these have been growing steadily but very slowly but for me to put my money on my emergency fund to invest it on these portfolio or like this the goal is not for it to gain as much interest because of the type of assets that i'm investing on and also the portion of the investments and that is why i'm not concerned about it having high interest or low interest so long as it's gaining some form of interest that i'm satisfied with and currently i'm satisfied satisfied with that so it is invested but now friend group then went because they're always innovating these ones they're always always innovating like i always wonder when they sit and they think they're just like hmm what else do we think our people need and what i like is that 
all of their decisions or the things that they introduce, they are research based. They do research and then they, they create a product or they add an element that is in line with what the research told them that their clients need. So now on the app, you are able to have a savings account, a typical normal savings account as you will get in a bank, just that with a higher interest rate. But the high int the interest rate is similar to what you get with other banks. Yeah. I'm going to be depositing this 8,000 into the savings account. And the reason why I'm putting it there is not because I'm scared to invest it or not it's because when i saw this i saw this this month as much as i want to work towards this hundred thousand eh? but right now there's a lot that is going on and i'm going to need money and i was like okay this is a good opportunity for me to still deposit money to work towards 100k but then don't invest it yeah boy? Because I'm likely, I am highly likely to withdraw money in the next month from my emergency fund. With that backstory, let us go and invest some Muller, you know, because that's the reason why we are here, you know. Okay, so we're going to log in on the app. We're going to log in on the app. Once we're logged in, you see there I was sitting at 82,870. 6.7 of that is the interest, which is equivalent to 5,000. And the way that is broken down is that I've got my emergency fund, which is seven, over 70,000. Underworld, it is 11,000. Yeah? So I saw this, this creator savings what, what account. I was like, yes, Good shots, exactly what I need right now. So I went on and created the savings account. But before I did that, I because there's option there that says 5.5 is for the starter account and 7% is for pro account. And I was like, hmm, okay, I definitely want 7%. So I went and I upgraded my account into a pro account. I'll do a different video on that part. But for now, let's just focus on that. I created a pro account so that I can tap into the 7% of my savings account. I accept accepted all the terms and condition I read through that and then I said let's go then I created my savings account and then you say here save toward the target or save regularly then my target is 20,000 towards this 20,000 by February 2025 and then per month is going to be 6,630 if I put that each and every month up until February I'll reach my goal and then it says congratulations you've created your savings account now I wanted to make my first deposit then for my first deposit I went to in deposit via instant EFT. From there, I then put in the 8,000 that I want to invest. And your payment was successful. And also there's a congratulations, the confettis, you know the works. When it comes to Frank Group, you are all done. And then from there, it is all set on the other side. It goes directly into what the savings account and not the other goals ne? so now my portfolio is sitting at 90,870 with 8,000 in my savings goal now this for me is going to be one it's going to be that fund that I'm going to be tapping on when it comes to me accessing money that I may need I don't want to be touching my other in my my other emergency fund that is invested and it has always been like that and how I've done it is that all along I would just take the money and I would invest my money into my emergency fund but then a small portion I will put it on time bank so that I can so that I can access it now that the is this the saving portion on Frank? I'm just gonna split my money that way. So let's say, for instance, I'm one to deposit ten thousand or five thousand. I would say one thousand must go towards the savings account, and four thousand will be invested. Every time I do my deposits, I'm going to break it down like that. Especially once I've reached my goal of twenty thousand on my on the savings account for my emergency fund. Going forward, I'll just split it like that so that I always find a balance whereby I know that there is money sitting in my my savings account but then there's a large portion of that is invested and the reason why i really really prefer to invest it so that it can surpass the inflation you guys for me that is very very important if you do not have the frank app as yet we haven't started investing as yet we are new into this whole thing yeah frank please use my link on the description down below that way you are supporting your girl you're supporting this channel because i do have an affiliate link with the platform because i use it and i talk about it a lot and so why not get paid as I talk about it in terms of if you use my link, 
I get a small percentage, you know. So for me, I would really encourage you that if you do not have an app, please use my link. Use my unique link. That way you're supporting your girl. And then another thing that I wanted to add before I close off this video is that we on the Frank app, they're going to be running a challenge or some sort of a savings challenge. It's called Save to Win, meaning that if you open the savings account and you put money into your savings account with Frank, you then are entering into this competition. That the more money you put in, the more entries you get so let's say for instance you deposit 100 rands into your savings that means you are entered 100 times into the competition with in, which increases your chances of you winning the winner is going to get 5,000, and this competition is going to be running from the 1st of november or up until the 4th of december now as i said the more money you put towards your savings account the more entries you get which is then good because you increase your chances of potentially winning this 5,000. I would love to win this 5,000, but I do hope that other people win this 5,000 for sure. And I hope that any one of you in my community get to win this 5,000. As I said, you must open the savings account and then in that savings account with Frank, you must deposit the money. That money that you're depositing will be your automatic entry on the competition. So do not miss out on this opportunity to grab yourself this 5,000K. 5, 5, with that being said, I'm going to close of this video right here i hope that it was it was a mouthful but i hope that it was helpful in some way and for people that haven't been sure in terms of starting their investment journey honestly use the savings account as a way to say okay while i'm i'm learning the app and I'm, I'm trying to understand my risk appetite and all the stuff let me do this but also when you go with the pro account by the way you do get an option you do get advice in terms of onboarding where if someone from frank will literally be on a call with you to assist you in understanding how you go about starting your investment journey for me i feel like that is a good benefit so with that being said i really hope that you enjoyed this video i wanted to make sure that i give you an update i'll see you on the next one please take care and stay safe